Hello everyone and welcome to day 9 of 12 days of BioPython where I will post one video per day related to bioinformatics topics using BioPython. I hope you will like it and please make sure to subscribe if you still haven't to support this initiative. Today's topic is about how to plot sequence length and GC content for sequences coming from FASTA files. So let's get started! So here I'm going to show you some examples of plotting using sequences coming from FASTA file. So I'm going to show you how to plot sequence length and how to plot G GC content. First what we need to do is get the data. We are going to download the orchid genome stored in FASTA file with wget command here. When we downloaded our orchid genome, we can parse it using CKO parse functionality and we can store all the sequences from the file to the sequences list. So now in our sequences list we have all the sequences coming from, from ORCID genome. Next what we can do is plot the histogram of sequences length. Before we start plotting, first we need to calculate the length of each of the sequence in our sequences list. So we can do that by looping over the sequences list and for each of the sequence we will calculate the length of the sequence. When we have this information, we can plot the histogram using the, the matplotlib library, which is a standard libra library for plotting. So we will plot our, our land in a histogram where, where the number of bins is going to be 20. We can set the title, the x length and epsilon length, and then we are going to execute plot.show to show our histogram. And we can notice that the most of these ORCID sequences are about 740 base pair longs. Next what we can do is plot the sequence GC content. So first what we need to do is import the GC functionality which will calculate our GC content. And similarly for the length of the sequences, we will loop through the, each of the sequence in sequences list and we will calculate the GC content of each of them. And then we are going to sort them in ascending order, using the sorted functionality. We are going to plot, plot using, the GC, using the calculated GC values. Again, we are going to set the title, X label, Epsilon label. Again, we are going to use the plot.show to do the plot. And we can see that the GC content is between 32% and 59% for the sequences coming from ORCID genome. So those were two plots done on the content of the FASTA files. With a similar approach and same library, you can plot your own plots. That was it for today's video. Join me again tomorrow for the new one. See you there. Bye bye.